Welcome back everyone. Now I'm pretty sure you'll agree with me when I say it is pretty common for a web application to include images as part of the user interface. Be it a landing page image, an avatar for a user profile, or even product images in an e-commerce site. You'll also agree with me that the size and format of the image plays an important role in the app performance. Since Next.js is a React framework for production, it ensures we serve images in the most optimized way possible by providing the image component. Before we learn about the image component though, let's look at an example of how to serve images with the image HTML element and then understand the benefits of using the image component. All right, for our example, Let's assume we are building an image gallery of pets. Now we need a few images to work with, so head over to unsplash.com and search for pets. Go ahead and download five images of your choice. Now the question is, where do we place those images in our project? The answer is within the public folder in the root directory. As you can see, I've added the five images behind the scenes. I've also renamed them as 1.jpg all the way till 5.jpg. Now let's display all these images in a route called pets. So in the pages folder, create a new file called pets.js. Within the file, we create a simple component to render the list of five images function pets page and default export this component. For the JSX, we are going to iterate over an array of file names. So return a div tag and then curly braces and an array with the file name as elements. Since our image file names are one through five, I can specify an array with one, two, all the way up to five as the elements. We then map over this array and for each path, we return an image element. So div tag key is equal to path and within the div tag, image source is going to be equal to slash dollar curly braces path dot jpg. Now this value for the source attribute is possible because we have the files inside the public folder. Images inside public can be referred inside your code starting with a base URL which is just a forward slash in our case. So forward slash refers to the public folder and then 1.jpg, 2.jpg or even 5.jpg. Now apart from the source, I'm also going to add an alt attribute, set this to pet, and then specify the width and height for the image. Let's go with a width of 280 and a height of 420. Now you still get an error where ESLint asks you to use the next image component instead of the image HTML tag. But our intention right now is to understand the benefits so we can ignore the error for now. All right, our pets gallery page is now complete. Let's head back to the browser and see if it works. Let's navigate to localhost 3000 slash pets. You can see the five images being displayed, so our page works as expected. But a very important observation to make here is in the size column in the network tab. For the five images, we are downloading the original image size, which is pretty big. 2 MB, almost 2, 2 MB again, 2.3 MB, and also 4.3 MB. Unsplash images do have high resolution, 
which explains the size and hence the larger load time. However, when we have specified we need a 280 by 420 dimension image, there is no need to download a 2800 by 4200 image. This is where the image component from Next.js shines. It will optimize image rendering in your application. Let's see it in action. In the pets page, begin by importing the image component. Import image from next slash image. Next, simply replace the HTML image tag with the image component. The attributes are still valid, so no need to modify. Let's now head back to the browser. I'm going to empty cache and hard reload. If you now observe the network tab, you can see the image size is considerably smaller. From 2 MB to just 38 KB. And even though we have specified a JPEG image, a WebP format is served in Chrome which is more optimized. If you take a look at the .next folder within cache images, we see the images that have been generated. The same image but in WebP format and a smaller size. So this is the first benefit of the image component. Automatic optimization of the image size and format. The second benefit it provides is lazy loading. If you take a look at the network tab, you will realize only two images have been downloaded. So it defers loading the image until it reaches a calculated distance from the viewport. So if I clear the network tab and scroll down, You can see the other three images being downloaded. As you can see with lazy loading, you won't download images that are not required at that moment in time. Now the third benefit is the ability to render a placeholder image while the actual image is still loading. And what is great is that without any additional effort, by simply specifying a prop on the image component, we can render a blurred version of the actual image as the placeholder. For Next.js to automatically generate the blurred image though, the path has to be static. So we cannot use dynamic source prop value. Let's just import one image and work with that. At the top, import image from public slash one dot jpeg. Then make a copy of the image component, paste it and change the source attribute to just image, which of course refers to one.jpg. Now though, you can specify placeholder is equal to blur. And if you now go back to the page, empty cache and hard reload, you can see a blurred image placeholder till the actual image loads. If that was too quick to observe, I recommend you try it out on your local machine. Now I personally am a huge fan of this since it avoids layout shift which can sometimes be a bad user experience. A blurred version of the image is loaded and then the actual image just takes over. A very nice user experience. Now, if you do have to work with dynamic images on the other hand, you would need to include another prop in addition to placeholder. And that is the blur data URL prop. This would point to an image that would be used to render the placeholder. I'm gonna leave this as a homework for you to experiment with. As you can see, the image component is something you must make use of when deploying apps to production. Hopefully you have an idea of how it works and the benefits it brings to your application. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel 
and I'll see you in the next video.